biggest question is, what can we do to take care of others? Um, and when we asked that question, that question was asked actually uh, by Grant Kelly. He's an undergrad student at Iowa State University. And over the last past year, he's seen a lot of his friends struggle with anxiety, stress, and other issues. So point blank, when we see our friends, our family struggling with those challenges that we've talked a lot about um, over the past year and some months, how, what can we do to help take care of others? And we're going to start this question with Brianna. Thanks, Deidre. Uh, it's, it's a really good question. And it's a question that a lot of people are having um, all through the, the COVID pandemic, as well as, as currently as we start to uh, venture out of it and um, venture into uh, the world again. And so one of the big things just to remember overall with this question is everyone is experiencing some kind of battle in their own um, world throughout the past year. Some people are handling it, um, have coping mechanisms or the ability to handle it a little bit um, better than others and others, um, no matter the coping mechanisms, their world has just been rocked significantly. Um, goals have changed, life has changed. And no matter how good you are at coping with things, it has just been plain stressful. Um, people have uh, developed mental health diagnoses or just symptoms of um, like anxiety, uh, stress, depression type symptoms. Um, they have been magnified in people that maybe already had the underlying type of symptoms or a diagnosis. And so it's really, really important with this question and with with uh, young adults that they just recognize everybody is going through something mm -hmm. right now. Um, it just looks different. And some people internalize that a little bit more and some people externalize that. Um, some people externalize it in healthy ways. Some people externalize it in unhealthy ways. Um, same with internalizing. There's, there's a level of um, kind of processing within before you need to process outside. And so it's just important that you um, as you're looking to help others, that you first take into consideration maybe what kind of a, a person is this, if you're friends with them already, and kind of recognize what their processing looks like. Um, but really, really important is, is offering that help, encouraging communication, mm -hmm. um, making um, out loud statements um, respectful statements, but making statements towards them that encourages conversation of some kind to give those individuals opportunities to talk, to vent, to share um, unbiased opportunities. Um, things that, that everybody can do is, is just being a friend to everybody else, having, having a listening ear. So that's one of the most important ways. Um, one of the other ways that I wanted to bring up is just uh, making sure that we are encouraging engagement. Um, if you happen to be friends or family with, with one of these individuals that you've identified, your friends struggling with, with these anxiety or stress issues, um, is encouraging engagement. And again, going back to everybody has a different comfort level with how safe they feel outside of their home right now. And so recognizing that in your friends and your family members and taking that into consideration when you talk about engagement, you know, engagement can be a Zoom game night or it could be an in-person game night. It mm -hmm. could be a trip to a restaurant or it could be dinner at home. Um, so taking, taking into account safety levels of everybody, but encouraging engagement, encouraging social activity, even for the most introverted person through COVID, they are craving even just the presence of social activity. Um, so that we can people watch. I'm an introvert too. I like people watching, but overall, some, some social interactions can be overstimulating. And so, but people watching is fun for, for some introverts. And so creating opportunities to engage with one another can really help um, people that are having newly developed uh, mental health symptoms like anxiety or other uh, depression-like symptoms. Mm 